a new deduction. I mean, the fact that Sonya went through Sonya's office is pretty crazy. Let me go through some of these things. O'Leary's feet on the table, a sign of dominance. Who do the footprints at the gym belong to? A Venturis vanished after winning a fight back when Yale was a kid. O'Leary used more to manipulate Stone, forcing him to take a dive against Yale. Helen Moore says she hates O'Leary. Yale is one of O'Leary's untouchables according to his files. Helen Moore and Desmond O'Leary are still in love. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. O'Leary has a guilty conscience for writing someone out for writing someone out when he was 14, someone who ended up dead. Alright, so a lot of these statements are pretty interesting, but what type of deduction am I supposed to make out of this? Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. You think this would be this? Whoa! Whoa! So that means... Oof. Damn! Okay, um... Oh, shit. Maybe O'Leary accidentally caused the death of Yale's father. So now he tries to make up for it by secretly helping advance his career? That is one hell of an accusation. One big statement, man. Wow, that... Oof. That would be pretty extreme, don't you think? Oh, new deductions, okay. Okay, so let me see here. Let me see if there's anything different. Um, Helen Moore says she hates O'Leary. O'Leary's feet on the table, blah, blah, blah. The gym burglar signed a document with his foot. Who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? Dunn's murderer had it all carefully planned out. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe this one with this one? Okay, that doesn't match. How about this? Maybe this one? No. No. What do I do? Okay, I'm, I know I'm flipping too much. Let me just think. This one? With, uh, that one? Oh! That one? Ah, come on! Okay, I was close, though. This one? With this one? No! Sorry. I just wish it was an easier time for me to pick these statements. No, what you mean? That was this, right? Okay, so, um... No, I don't know. Hold on. This one. That one. No, I don't know what to do. Hold on. Let me think. I can do these two. Okay. If she's still in love, why does she claim she hates him? What is she hiding? What's that? Is that a shoe or purse? Who's is that? Mary Purnell. You think she did this? Why would Mary do this? And why would... Wait, who's Mary... Wait! Why would Mary do that? 
Hold on. Let's go upstairs. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. Hmm. So, Black Sad is imagining. <gasps> Hold up. Does Black Sack think that she saw someone in the office and she ran off? Let's go upstairs in the roof. Let's Radiant, go. Please. If someone's in the roof. <gasps> no! No! Oh my god! Mary, no! No! I am so... Oh my god, I'm so pissed! Hmm. She's dead! She was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Could and be she... a knife wound. Oh my god. The was brutal. Oh my god, wrong place at the wrong time, and she ended up suffering for it. She had no... Oh my god, she did not deserve that. I'm pissed! She did not deserve to die the way she died. A letter. Okay, I obviously need to read the letter, so... What's in there? Read it. Sonia, I need to tell you several, several things, things about, about your father. In fact, I know he would have wanted me to tell you. Among them, the fact that you co-own an apartment in Manhattan. Please call me. What? Yours truly, Mary Purnell. Huh. Mary was dropping off a nice little note for Sonia. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me, it might be painful at first, but time heals all wounds. Why did you listen to me? Don't look so- ah, oh, she's gonna look. Yeah, she's dead, Sonia. <sighs> Wow, this is the first I've seen her show I any want emotion. You to call the police, Sonia, and then go straight to a friend's house. Don't even think about going home and definitely don't come back here. Yeah, I'm, you're I'm in danger. I'm staying in a friend's house. Good. I haven't even set foot in my father's place yet. Good, because you're in danger now. Good. Do you have the keys? Oh my god, if the Mary! Didn't find what he was looking for, that might be his next stop, if he hasn't been there yet. I'm so depressed. Like, Mary, why? Why her? Why? Why? Like... <sighs> Mary was a good woman. She did not deserve to die like that, and I'm Born so to pissed. Keys to the place, which meant I wouldn't have to use my lockpicks or... Someone's there already. Someone's in there. Question is, who is it? Who's in there? Come on, Black Sad. Bust open that door right now. Let's go, big boy. Who's in here? Well, there goes the lock. It doesn't look like anyone picked the lock. So you think someone already had the keys to the place? Black fantasy, little hand, fetcher. Okay. Look at that. The guy sure had good taste. The art of boxing. Hmm. I see more art in a boxer's hypnotizing footwork than in certain modern paintings. Okay, I got it. This song is pretty interesting. 
Oh, hell yeah. This is a good song. Okay. All right, let me... Can I turn... Wait, I can't turn it off, right? Oh, well. I admit, though, this, this song is pretty nice. What Looks is like that? Had already begun to move his things. Moving from where, though? I mean, why would he want to move? Done? Thorpe? Hmm. No idea. And these two? They look familiar. So, Don is an army man. Thank you for your service. I appreciate that. Let me take a look at this book here. The Life of Harry Bradwick, Father of Baseball. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know Dunn was into baseball. Ooh, a card, yay! I'll do that later. As I glanced at the telephone, I remembered the weekly password for O'Leary's illegal gambling operation and the reward he had given me for telling him about Colbert and his wife. I had managed to make my own dirty money after the Eagle Pimp suddenly quit the poker game. How much damage could a small bet do? Nah, I ain't doing what a bet. What harm could I do? Only the invisible type. I ain't doing no bet. That's my money. I'm gonna use that to get a TV. What you mean? Anyways. Yay, another card. Awesome. And that saxophone, though. It's hard though. to believe that a pair of boxing fists could play something like this. Although I'm sure he had the lungs for it. Yo, Trisha, if you're watching this, what do you think about that saxophone? I still remember those good times where during college you used to play yours. Man, th those, were, those were pretty fun. The Quiet Lion. Wasn't Dunn's nickname The Quiet Lynx? I'd swear I saw that on a poster at the gym. Oh, that's cute. Look at him being a movie romantic. I mean, there's nothing for me to look at, so... Oh, well. Alright, let me take a look at the rest of the apartment here. Anything good in the refrigerator? Mm. Ready-made meals on airplane trays in front of the TV. Who would have thought we'd end up eating like this? It's convenient, fast, and, you know, Dunn doesn't have a wife, so... Dunn died four days ago, and that lettuce still looks okay. Then again, it depends on how long he works for. It, w it would be nice to come home to someone, but, you know... Dunn was a lonely man. Property sale agreement. Now I see how Dunn bought the apartment he was going to share with Mary. This what? place has to be empty in two weeks for the new owners. I wonder if Sonia knows about this. Damn. Aww, he already had plans with Mary. I'm pissed. I am so fucking pissed. I can't get over it. I can't get over how Mary died, bro. Sardines. It's been open for a few hours. Wait a minute. Remember the sard the tissue? Yes. Let's do it. It's obvious that someone was in the apartment first, ate, and then went to the gym, wiped their mouth with the tissue and threw the tissue away. Like, bro. It makes so much sense. Okay, so let me see. Yep. Right here. It's pretty clear that the burglar came by the house before heading to the gym. Exactly. Which means he probably didn't find what he was looking for in here. So he thought he could find something at the office. Booyah! Okay. Oh, another one? Alright, let's go. Let's do another one. So... Let me see... 
I don't know what to pick. Let me see. The doe nurse will be assisting Dr. Wait a minute. Ooh, this one with this one. Now. That one with this one. Ooh. Uh, this one. Oh, come on. What do you expect me to do here? Okay. Um... Let me try that one, that one, and that one. Oh, come on. Hold on. Uh, I don't know what to do. No, that's not it. I'm gonna try these again. No. I don't know what to do. Hold on. Come on, let me pick. No. Huh. I don't know what to do. Maybe this one? No. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna waste my time. I, I, I can't even figure out any clues. Anyways. A mess, as always. Closet. Let's go in the closet. Another empty closet. Okay. That was uneventful. Wait, what's that on the floor? For the world's best dad on Father's Day? Oh my god. So she did have a lot of love for her dad. It's just that, you know, with certain circumstances, she had to pull up walls. Bandito. You still looked at her every morning? So many years later, with a new love, maybe Aww. we don't need to forget. Maybe pain just transforms into, I don't know, something. Hmm, bendito. That is sad. Uh, let me see, is there anything I can take from here or not? Probably not. What's in here? Ooh, the window. <gasps> the window? That's how they got in. Is this how he got in? Huh. Interesting. Now we know. I mean, this is a very decent bathroom. Wow. Could Dunn really afford such luxuries? Or did he only want to impress Mary? Or maybe he knows how to budget his money enough to afford certain luxuries. So, masculinity starts at work. Okay. Look at him. He really was... Ooh, that painting. Let me see. Elaine. I think that was Dunn's wife's name, <gasps> according to Jake. Oh, my goodness. She's a really talented painter. I'm impressed. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let me see here. So, okay, so it's the same thing. Uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, I could keep on doing random stuff like this, but then would that even work out? Probably not. Okay. See, I don't know what to do. Huh.
Okay, third one. Who did the footprints at the gym belong to? The gym burglar signed a document with his foot. No! Okay, okay. Let's do it again. I was I was up to something with this. No, okay, okay, come on, come on. I just want to get something. Something, at least. Come on, man. I hate this. I don't know what to do. What type of deduction are you trying to figure out? This doesn't make any sense. Or maybe I should put it the other way? I don't know. No, okay. I don't know what to do. And this is all the statements I have here. Hmm. No, I don't know. I do not know. I don't know. I quit. It's like the statements I have there already doesn't really match up. Ooh, the bedroom, right? Is this Sonia's room? Oh, how adorable. Aww. Could this be the origin of Sonia's interest in business management? Damn, that's hardcore. That's cute. Huh, a little poster. That's cute. I like that one. Frank Papala under your skin. One of the very few teen idols who only got better with age. Very few teen idols can pull that off. What's this doing here? What's wrong with having a baseball glove? No matter how hard I look, I'm not getting anywhere. I need to talk with Sonia and maybe with her uncle, Tim. All right, let's go. Tim, my man. It brings back... I don't know. Good memories? An optimist, are we? It's like yeah. remembering the last day of summer. Scenes uh... full of joy, picturesque landscapes, and yet the light is faint and the air is still, the calm before the storm. I know that feeling. Especially I figured since that he much. also I can see served. it in your eyes. We met in the army. <laughs> we were all professional athletes. They called us the Olympic Five. Who's the guy on the right? Angus Mitchell, our combat medic and a doctor with the New York Warriors. It was Spanow who got him assigned to our platoon. Hey, isn't that Craig Spanow? The guy on the Morley's billboards? Yes, indeed. Our captain. He was the oldest, after all and star of the New York Warriors. <laughs> he was an orphan, you know. But he loved the sport so much that he said baseball was his family. He Aww. was the one who had Mitchell assigned to our platoon. That is so sad. I feel bad for that man. I really do. Okay, how do I... Thank you. Who's the guy on the left? Ah, Victor Sukovsky, the athlete. You've probably heard of his medals. I haven't, but okay. What about you? I had just signed with the Milestones. I hadn't even played my first game, but people said I had a bright future ahead of me. But the war got in the way of that bright future. Huh? No, I made it big when I came back. Oh, Best wow. Best time of my life. Don't you remember that cop at the hospital? The one who let me in in exchange for an autograph? Trust me. 
Nobody calls you Iron Arm if you're just sitting on the bench. Who would have thought that I'd end up becoming Tim Iron Legs Thorpe? Awkward, but hey, appreciate I fought the, joke. the Nazis for two years, up there in the sky, over Europe. And I never set foot in a field hospital. Three years later, I crossed the street without looking. And look at me now. The irony that is how he went down. Yeah, I would be pissed too. Was Dunn already boxing? Yes, he was. I had already seen him fight before I even met him. He was as humble in the ring as he was in life. He'd always let his rivals take the initiative. I remember how he barely dodged the blows. If you didn't look at his feet, it seemed like he wasn't even moving. And the footwork, pure dancing. You could almost hear the music. The song would play until his opponent was exhausted. Then came the drum roll, followed by Dunn's victory by K.O. What happened to all of them? Zukovsky died the same day the injured Dunn. Dunn received an honorable discharge and came home. He quit boxing and opened his gym. Mitchell was redeployed to a field hospital. Spano and I continued in the same unit, but nothing was ever the same. You see what I meant with the last day of summer? Yeah, it sucks how you guys went on and separate ways. after the war? Well, who the hell cares? I do. What happened to Spano? Well, you've seen the billboards. He made it big time. When I was forced to retire, I got him some advertising deals. That's how I founded this agency. But then, something happened to him. He became sullen. He fell out of shape, and slowly but surely, lost touch with reality. He withdrew from public life and broke off our friendship. Haven't heard from him in, uh, what, three years? And believe me, I've tried to contact him. You think Spano might have been involved in Dunn's death? Spano? No way. He and Dunn were always... Well, Spano's changed so much that it's hard to say. Hmm. So, he can't even decide based off of his character. Not anymore, at least. What happened to Mitchell after the war? Mitchell? Who knows? We lost touch. I hope he's doing well. Damn. I think I saw Mitchell not too long ago, but I can't remember where. Seriously? Please try to remember. I'd love to hear from him again. I'll do my best. Allow me to double your wage. You ho, have ho. to find the murderer. Maybe Dunn stayed in touch with Mitchell or Spano. Maybe even with both. But he never told me anything. Maybe and now he Sonya feels knows. left out. I doubt it. But that's not the only question I've got for her. May I? Can I use your phone? Thank you. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.